Discord like two weeks ago. He's just like, hey, and I'm like, hey. Also, funner fact, uh, don't tell him I said this. He's actually Nintendo's brother. The the melee player. Really? Yeah. I had no clue. That. He's, yeah, we, he's actually a family friend to find. <laughs> well, uh, while we were talking that. Um, no, I said a terrible secret. Let's get to the next of this game. While we were talking about that, Jenna really got 46% on the board and is forcing John Numbers off the stage. Well, this is the sort of thing where <laughs> John Numbers, it's his style has changed over the course of the years. And I Are you like, sure about that? No. <laughs> yes, I am. Let me finish my thought, good sir. Um, where... I think a part of it is that dominant strategy, you know, eventually comes, you know, comes home to roost. And one of the dominant strategies that Numbers has had lately is he gets beat up to the beginning of the game, and then he gets deeply beat. And then oh, he no. murders people. John has become a comeback machine in the past few months. So that's deep breathing plus comeback rage. Machine. Oh, dear God, have mercy on the poor man. Everybody saw right there, John, uh... Quickly, I want to say quickly taking that stock, but very commandingly taking that stock. Oh. And it's so hard to, for someone who spends so much time off safe, it's so hard to edge guard him. I I'm knew upset. so many people would have gotten scared right there, but John Numbers is like, you're not hitting me. I'm doing good form pull ups right now. He knows. <laughs> that almost killed him. Now Jen finding himself off stage again. Not good. Very bad situation. And there was, like, honestly, I wish we could go slow mo through everything Numbers does on ledge. Because it looks so simple. The fact that he's just, like, you know, getting off ledge and tapping people. But there are these very slight things that he does that really are what lead to his success. Agreed. Because, like, you would think it's so easy. You know, he gets off ledge, you get back on, you can punish them and hang in on ledge. No, it refreshes. So you can't punish him. Well, it's not only that, but like, I'm, what I'm, like, there was one moment there where he kind of just. <laughs> do I do, hold on a second. Does. What do you fit when she runs back and forth? Is it just weird? Did she do like the, the elbows out running thing? That's you know exactly what I'm talking about? What the skeleton did. run? That is exactly what she did. Why has it, why does the numbers do that more often? What a way to make your opponent approach. Everyone's trying to get into his face. Oh my god. I, I love the idea from Jen, but it just, numbers is ready for it. Numbers been doing this for years, man. You cannot take this man off the ledge. If he doesn't want to get off the ledge, he's not getting off there. Like, see, right there, he wanted to get off the ledge. Jen didn't force him off. I, I'm surprised he got hit by that dash attack. I think it was either some hurt box shifting or Numbers, like, stopped crouching at the last second. Again, another, so another soccer ball taking him off the ledge. Yeah. Not to off the ledge, taking him out of the game, I should say. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's worth noting, that was how his, you know, he lost his first stop. So, mm -hmm. the fact that that's happened now twice to Jen means that he needs to be more careful once he gets knocked off stage, not getting flipped by a soccer, like a wayward soccer ball, you know? Yes, sir. Not really. Oh. Oh. Uh. What a scramble. It's so, it's so wonky to get past the fit. Like, this character's hitbox is just very, very weird. And instead of swinging... Wow. Instead of swinging wildly, just throw out that up smash, man. That's all you need. That was, I mean, so the thing is, crouching in Palatina's face is actually a really scary thing for the Palatina. Because what are her normal options up close like that? Mm -hmm. Grab, you know, maybe a jab. You know, those there. Are things. We Love fit, well, yeah, but we fit so low to the ground. She dodges a lot of those moves, so up smash was definitely a really smart call there. <laughs> it was. Very, very fun. Either up smash or down smash. It's something, you know, to catch that, clout, that crouching fitness coach. Yeah. And if you notice, Numbers went for the header right there, trying to snipe with another snocker ball. But that time, Jen was ready for it. And it's the sort of thing where opportunity calls to John Numbers didn't get deep breathing as a result. Now, I like, I you're absolutely right. But I also love the way Jen was moving around there. He was ready for John Numbers to, like, probably, like, land spot dodge or something like that. But John Numbers is quickly changing up his style of how he wants to land. Always mixing it up. Never the same option. Ooh, man on ledge. He's trapped the ledge here. It's so panicking. He actually goes for the roll and Jen doesn't punish it. Now John has a little bit more stage control. Forward throws not going to be grab. killing. Serve up. Jen is off stage. Landing on stage with that one. You got to be careful. Sunset Station is on deck. Oh, and there's deep breathing. That's going to be the game right there. Mm. I love he hadn't really done that. He had kind of been conditioning Jen into going for jump. 
He's like, I'm gonna threaten you. I'm gonna try and punish your neutral get ups, your rolls. Notice that he ran back towards the stage yes, as if he was going for a high commitment on trying to punish a roll on. No, the entire time, his goal from the frame one was to throw that uh, sun salutation. Did he just give us finger guns? I missed it. I have. Who, John? John, I think he just gave us finger guns in the player Three, camp. Two, <laughs> one, go! You know, you know. <laughs> You deserve this, <gasps> all of you. Oh my god. Okay, that's a start. I, that's a really good start. <laughs> I did not know Explosive Flame really just hit on the platform right there. Oh, man. That was good. <laughs> Great start coming out from Jen. Uh, putting himself probably in a good favor to like, have good advantage right now in this set. But missing that edge guard. Oh no. Beefy up beef to keep the hitbox going so he can get that two frame. Ah, uh, that was a very smart move. Yeah, cheeky movement on the ledge here. I mean, it's John Number. Do you expect anything other than cheeky? He's gonna be smart, but always will be just that. Jen finally getting a two frame, but nothing much off of it. Nice, there we go. Really good. I believe that up smash called out the header. A very popular option for we fit, we fit to pick at the ledge. Mm -hmm. But it's not without its uh, without its counterplay, as we see right there. And I feel like John also went for the long header too, not the the instant one that most. I feel like most people threw off ledge. That's why Jen was able to get that punish. Ooh, nice. Uh, Jen kind of more used to the uh, the, the weird burst option. I wouldn't say burst options, but yeah, I guess it's all burst options. The burst options of we fit when you try to approach. See the sun citation, soccer ball, or she just turns around and back airs. Man, it's just in each other's face right now. Venom is pulling back, gets deep breathing, but gets forward air as a result. Was it worth there it? There we go. You know what I realized? In the first game, Jen wanted to box. He really wanted to box so bad. But John Numbers doesn't, is not in the same boxing gym. John Numbers is on the track and field. He is out here running away. He is doing the, the long distance dash. I, I, that's not a dash, my bad. The long distance run. The <laughs> long distance dash. <laughs> Imagine you do a long distance dash. Like, you need the stamina of a god to do that. We, we're, but we're not Hermes. Amazing grab. That was at. What? Ooh. Are the cojones on this man to do that kind of grab? I'm sorry. Well, I mean, at this point, he kind of needs to. Uh, he, he does need something, but it's just like a grab in that situation to pick that laggy option when you get off ledge against Palutena. You're I mean, crazy. It's, there was no way he would be expecting it. The bad options are the best options. In some situations, I perfectly agree with you. In all, in all situations. Oh, no down air. Jen looking totally different this game. Absolutely. I mean, ooh, okay. finally getting off ledge with the header. That being said, you know, we've been knowing before how numbers have kind of become a comeback master. He's going to need to do that. I saw him actually look at his solo for a second. I think he wanted the air dodge, and it didn't come out the way at the time he wanted it to. That's going to cost him a very important stock because the difference, yeah, look at this. Already that means he's going to be 29% uh, and you're in disadvantage, disadvantage against Palu. Yeah, it's not supposed to be. Not supposed to be. Jen is sitting with all his raids on the table. He can get an early kill. That was... Would have been beautiful. Oh, sun citation not taking it just yet. Jen wonderful DI wow. not dying off the top. I am shocked that did not kill. And yet he didn't even have access to a kill throw. Nope. Four throw doesn't kill. Four two doesn't do it either. Jen not there. missing the tech. And that soccer ball will take it. What a snipe. I mean, it was certainly cute, but. The uh, number's already at 66% on his last stock in game two here. Jen nice. looking, yeah, he's looking to end this soon. Look at that, going yeah, deep. He doesn't, he doesn't want to get John number the chance to like, set his foot onto the ledge again. At least, not the way he wants to. Are we going to shoot him to down though? Oh! I love it. I love it. I also like the sort of the statement dynamic there. Of Jen is like, you're so scared that you're about to air dodge right here. And John was like, no, I'm not scared. I'm not, I don't need an air dodge. <laughs> so numbers, even though he's not by quite that a bit, kill. he's what, not what, what, afraid. What, 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 what? what do you want from him? I mean, deep breathing there, up smash, goes on like 60. He think you really can die. That's, that's crazy. Oh my god, and this kind of 
Oh no. Ooh. Oh no way. <laughs> and the ledge versus we fit, not where you want to be. And he has deep breathing. And he got deep breathing from that exchange, meaning that right now. Deep breathing is gone. Deep breathing is gone. Jen can play. He can live. That's so smart going way out there and using it. He's too hungry for it. But and that's back to reading the roll. There we go. Yeah. And before he even got to the kill screen, we already see number saying, run, run it, it back. back. Run it back, boys. Hey, my, shout out my boy Specs. I see him in the I see him in the chat. Let's go. Shout out to Specs. I don't know who Specs is. Specs. Cool guy? Huh? He's one of my guys. He's one of your, is he a cool guy? He's a cool you guy. You can say no. He's a cool No, no, no. I'm not going to say that. Because Specs is fake. He, he, he's awesome. Love this guy. <laughs> Anyways, we're going to get back to a uh, game three, send, sending it right back to PS2. Three, yep. And so far, this one, has been pretty back and go. forth. We've been seeing adjustments from both players. And Herbert's willingly putting himself on ledge just to make sure he has access to deep breathing at the very start of the game. See, even a player with strong ledge trapping like Jen is having trouble just dealing with our numbers on the ledge. And <laughs> 35. It's, it's ridiculous. Jesus, 71% already, bro? Yeah, no, I was, you know, I was talking to John Numbers, and he says, like, part of Wii Fit's game plan is basically figuring out how to do anti-airs. And one of his popular anti-air options is the lower percent. Oh, no. Oh, you hate to see. Can we get an F? Because you hate to see it. What happened? I think he meant, I don't know. I, don't I, I can't know. even tell you what was supposed to happen, because I, I don't know this character. But it just, it's just really unfortunate. I put John in a really, advantage, really disadvantaged situation. Not the spot he wants to be in right now. Now he's trying to bring it back against the Palu. Ah, he could definitely do it, but it's just, it's just the plan he had is already folded up and thrown in the garbage now. Is that hitbox active when he just leaves it like that? All right, well, numbers able to shake off the mental cobweb, so to speak. I definitely have seen it where, like, you know, he can crumple when he has an SD like that. Having trouble, you know, mentality can sometimes suffer, but I mean, yep. this guy's, you know, his mentality's gotten a lot better over the past few years, and also, when you have a reliable strategy that you can fall back on. Yes. Oh my goodness gracious. The grab missing? That's kind of huge for Jen. I mean, is, is it really John is on the ledge? Like, you think, like, someone be throwing, I get, I always go back and how John is just the only player I've seen who's strong on the ledge. And that's really just a Wii Fit thing. I mean, honestly, it's a him thing, but... That's it. Does he do the same with Wii Fit with me, Sword Fighter? Oh, my God. Oh, I've seen him do some cheeky things with that character also. Uh, I, I, don't know if, I don't know if he's uh, ledge camping like I like get as a Wii Fit. That shield is looking mighty Ooh. low. Nice, nice cast of the jump. Right, Jen's got to fight a way down to the ground without worrying about... Uh, Back in here by that sun. Oh man, the music is starting to go up in crescendo. <laughs> right as they stare down too? Yeah, right at this. And this is the sort of thing where, oh, this is what numbers wanted to avoid. Getting hit by an early percent combo. Taking yeah, 58 in the blink of an eye. Nice off stage versus Jen. Jen reading that, not punishing him just yet. I mean, I don't think he was honestly the right time to punish him. I just don't think forward air was the right move to do it with. Probably maybe like a down air probably would have caught the keep it just sitting right on the ledge. Okay, back throw, but snatch and thrown off. Once again, we do see that Jen has been kind of conditioned to go for those ledge jumps. Just might exploit that one more time with uh, one of, I don't know, one of those sun salutations. Oh, operate just going right past the nair. Hello? I thought that should have oh. happened and he kicked the, the sun right out of his mouth. Wait, she shoots it out of their mouth? I don't know where she shoots it out of, but it's just oh. spaghetti. Well, that's yeah. the spaghetti coming out right now. Both of them, this is a perfect example of a scramble. Both of these guys out here, just neither of them are trying to die. Again. Second time, I actually love the fact that first time, John Numbers was like, you know, causing it in his face. Oh, never mind. I didn't even have time to adjust to anything. Mm -hmm. As like, Jen losing that stock. One stock apiece, and this number got deep breathing right by, you know, while uh, Jen was on that Halo platform. And that means oh, he's giving yeah. a ton of damage, possibly. 65% already, and he has to get past John Numbers on the ledge. 89%. He's, the percentage is still climbing. Oh, that trade not going to work out too great for him. 
The Packer, what? Oh. Yeah, you can see he's disappointed. I don't think he DI'd that back there properly. No, he did not. I was kind of sus DI on that. Don't want to say it's sus, but it's like, damn. Yeah. Unfortunately.